Hi guys, my name is Eno, but you can call me Sherry because I am a sweetheart. <laughs> Hi guys, you're welcome to my channel. I am relocating to the UK with my husband. <laughs> this video or this vlog will just be about my journey so far because i would really love to take you along with your processes how it's going step by step the things that we are going to be doing so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe now because i'm going to be sharing the details okay i am going with my husband as um i'm going as a student for my master's my husband is coming as my dependent so that you'll be able to work and you know assist me with my fees so so far i i applied to different universities i am going to um link it up there like some of the requirements that you need if you want to study in the uk so far i have gotten admission in about four universities however i'll be going for just one the one that um, the tuition fees are affordable the payment plan is flexible and also the area where the cost of living is affordable also and where i can also get a job i am so, so excited for this new journey that i am about to embark on or i and my husband are about to embark on and i am so so happy that i am going to be bringing you guys along on this journey so guys if you haven't subscribed please subscribe <laughs> okay so that's it make sure to watch to the end because i'll just keep adding clips anything we'll do i'll add it to it so guys now that i've gotten admission and i've decided on the school to go for today's 26th of april i proceeded to applying for my form a that's an cbn which is supposed to take about 90 days hey guys today is second of may 2023 so we are going out now to register for our driver's license while the form a is processing here yeah, so catch you later we went to bureau de change on the 9th of may to pay my fees in abuja okay because form a is no longer 90 days they extended it to 120 days which is about four months and then we know that we'll not be able to wait for extra four months because there is no time so we had to use black market rates we ended up spending about one million naira or more something we didn't plan for so this is us at bureau de change just taking something to drink because we are waiting for the person that would actually send the money to someone in the uk my husband's friends to pay directly to the school's account on the 11th of may after the school received the fees they sent us a link to apply for cars so this is us applying for cars apparently it was on my birthday on the 11th of may so we're busy <laughs> so guys today is 15th of may we went to iom office that is international organization for migration in abuja we went to book for our tb test we couldn't do it online so we decided to just go there but then they told us to try and book online so my husband was just trying to book online on his phone he was unable to do that online so he finally entered inside so they could just do it inside for him they did not allow me to enter so i was just outside there waiting for him tb test cost fifty seven thousand eight hundred for each person making it a total of one hundred and fifteen thousand six hundred naira after we booked our tb test dates we decided to go to the pharmacy to get drugs to clear our throats to avoid stories that touch the heart <laughs> so guys every time we spend money we always calculate we subtract we know how much we've spent so far how much we have left by this way we keep ourselves on track today is 18th of may i and my husband went to the market to get what we would eat for the day we decided to just look out for ziploc bags just in case you know sometimes when you're looking for something urgently you might not find it so it's better you get these things when you can now that you're free so we're happy we saw the ziplock bag so we just got it in advance so i'll show you how i use the ziplock bags to package my food stuff hi guys today is 19th of may we are going to the immigration um, iom office here in abuja for our tb test so come along so we bought there the tricycle going to the iom office 
I was shy making the video, so many times I was just pretending as if I was adjusting my wig. Meanwhile, nothing was wrong. So this is us at IOM office. One guy just came and said we need to get um, a nose mask that you know it's TB. The guy deceived us, but it's it's okay. So this is us inside the IOM. They gave us forms to fill. Just went there with our passport and that um, receipt, the payment receipt, that one hundred and fifteen thousand naira. So when they would the receipt, so it's finally time for me to go in and do my X-ray. I took off my clothes and um, wore this. Um, I don't know what's called. <laughs> yeah, so I wore the um, no maternity, whatever it is, the garment. So and yeah, I was done with it. So I'm just preparing to go out and meet my husband and get my certificate. After the x-ray, we are directed to an office to meet with a doctor. The doctor examined us by asking us questions if we had cough that lasted for more than two weeks and some necessary questions like that. But just be careful answering them because I guess it will determine your results. So I was asked if I was pregnant even before I did the x-ray also. Guys, this was the place that took our time. We spent almost eternity here. This is the certification room. This is where you wait until they call your number then you go and collect your certificate you sign so we waited for hours yeah my husband got his certificate first his own got ready before mine so finally i got my certificate after hours after my husband was waiting for me for hours <laughs> he was not allowed to stay inside he was told to wait outside for me the results are not copulated here in nigeria so it's in um, i think singapore so they just send it down here to Nigeria then they call us to get the certificate so I think that's one of the reasons it takes so much time Ooh. so guys we're finally done this is our certificate <laughs> we're tired and hungry <laughs> since morning well, since I think 7 a.m. 7 30 a.m. that we came here and this is around 12 past 12 or so so see you later guys I don't know if you hear now. I don't know if you hear now. Yes, now there was somebody that came in three minutes later. They called the person 100 and something. And me and number four was like, Jesus Christ, this is that they've not called me. But I don't get to be village people. That was it. If I pay another, how much again? 58,000. Yeah. After the stress, we decided to just stop somewhere and get something to eat. Then we decided to stop by a market that is very close to the place. We didn't want to go home since there's a market around there. We decided to just get some jackets. So this is me trying on a winter jacket. It won't kill me. <laughs> I was thinking this jacket would be very cheap, like 2,000 naira, one five, highest 3,000 naira. Odogu was asking me how much are we buying this thing last. I was telling him highest 3k, highest 3k. <laughs> this is me begging the man now for 5,000 naira. You know, say 5,000 for this. The man showed us the one of 5k. Honestly, it is not something you want to wear in the UK because cold will kill you. It can't protect you from cold. It's like a, a normal jacket, everyday jacket. We ended up buying the jacket for 8,000 naira. So we only bought one. Is it 8,000? I think. So Odogo did not see his own size. We went to another shop to look for his own size. He was trying out different jackets. Ah, unfortunately, he did not see his own size. The one that even managed to fit him, they told him 15,000 naira. So we did not buy it. We had to leave. So we went to the market another day to get jackets. So Dogo did not buy, only bought one for myself. Hi guys, today is 22nd of May and we just got an update from the UK government that they want to stop students that are coming with their dependents that they want to stop dependents visa <sighs> it is really heartbreaking because since i heard this news since morning i have not been myself i just pray this does not work hard because i've already paid my school fees 
I've paid my fees and I've not applied for a visa. I'm planning to do proof of fund and pay my health surcharge this week. And hearing this, I don't even know what to do if I should go ahead. <sighs> because I can't come alone. I need to come with my husband. Both of us are planning to come together. And if, if they stop it, that means the only way your partner can come is through the study route. The person cannot apply as a dependent because they're stopping the dependent visa. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, what I'm trying to explain is that the students can come with the student visa, but the dependent or dependents cannot come with that um as a dependent anymore the de dependent will have to come through another means like another route maybe as a student also but that dependent visa they're planning to stop it <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy hi guys today is 23rd of may 2023 i'm sorry yesterday i was just a cry cry baby because <laughs> I don't like things not going the way that I want them to go, you know. So it's one of the ways that I express myself. And today, the UK government has finally um, released the statement officially that they are stopping the students' um, dependent visa. But it's going to take effect from January. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> because throughout yesterday, I wasn't myself. I was not happy. I was just worried. I was just worried about you thing that so one person will have to stay back and I just let me not just imagine it again. But we are still going to take the risk because I know now there will be an influx of people trying to enter by September. We're still going to take the risk. Just do um apply for a visa, proof of fund and all that. I feel better today. The pressure is getting worse. Today is 25th of May. We had to just go rent a hotel to calm our heads down because we could not even think well at all. Because there's so much pressure coming from family that we should switch parts. That my husband should go as the student while I go as a dependent. It is as a result of this UK ban on dependent visa. So because of the so much pressure coming from family, we couldn't resist. After so much thought and argument, we saw that, okay... It is actually a welcome idea. It will be easier for him to go as a student just in case the dependent doesn't work out. He can easily hustle and bring me over. So this is him paying his um, school fees now. I must confess it was a trying time for us because there was no job. On my own end, I applied for a refund of my school fees. I sent a mail to my school. So we ended up losing more money. On the 31st of May, we went back to the IOM office for a reissue. So our certificates were changed. Mine that was the student's was changed to the dependent while his own was changed to the student. We ended up paying eight I think eight thousand or eight thousand five hundred each, making it about seventeen thousand for both of us just to change, make the corrections. One of the reasons why we spent, why I said we lost so much money was because of the increase in pounds rate. You know, we spent, it was over two weeks after I paid mine. So dollar had increased before my husband decided to pay his own school fees. So we ended up spending extra 250,000 Naira. Like we wasted extra 250,000 Naira that we never planned for, that we had projected for something else. Guys, this video is already too long and and, um, i'm going to end it here there will be a part two okay so just like and subscribe for more i am still recording like our journey so far so let's see how it turns out so please subscribe and like for part two bye guys